it's Georgia and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are testing out Charlotte Tilbury products, their pillow talk collection and this is the look that I've created. We're going to be testing out the lipstick, the lip liner, the blusher, the liquid highlighter, so we've got the eyeliner and it just gives such a beautiful glowy look and can't wait to show you how I created it. So if you want to see how I create this look then and definitely just keep on watching. So if you're new here I would love you to stick around to subscribe. I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers so I'll just fast forward to me looking a lot lot worse than this and I hope you enjoy. This is the box of products we'll be trying out. So I'm going to be prepping my skin with the most classic Charlotte Tilbury product. The first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Now Charlotte Tilbury on their website right now are doing, if you spend £70 then you can get the free little magic cream and a free eye cream. So that's what I've done. So the little magic creams come in the cutest packaging and I've been using this for the past three days and I honestly think it's so so good. Flash has this massaging technique when you kind of massage outwards so that's what I'm going to try and do to mimic the Charlotte Tilbury look. I've been fangirling over the Charlotte Tilbury Instagram for honestly the longest time that like, I love the Instagram all their looks are just I feel like they just nail golden goddess like bronzy looks don't they they just look the best now I'm going to use the eye cream which is the magic eye rescue which is also really really good after I've used up these two little tubs I am going to leave a little review in the description box below I'll let you know how I've been finding them I also have found this cream that if you bring it out onto your cheekbones a tiny bit then it gives you such a gorgeous glow. Okay, so I haven't actually got the Charlotte Tilbury foundation and concealer. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and apply those. And then we'll get on to all the Pillow Talk products, which I am just so excited for. And we've got all the base done. And I feel like the Magic Cream is doing bits, honestly. We're going to now move on to the Pillow Talk products. The ones we've all been here for. Here's, I'm going to start with the Pillow Talk blush. And this is in the cheek to chic yeah in the shade pillow talk i know they have brought out a pillow talk intense but just because my skin isn't darkest and i've been slacking on the fake tan recently um i thought i would get original pillow talk and i'm obsessed the packaging i feel like you do pay for like it's just the most luxurious feel and i love that and i also feel like with products that you never really hit pan on like i don't really ever hit pan on a blush or like a lipstick i never usually run out of them so I feel like they are worth it because you can use them for so long. You're meant to do the swish and pop, which means you go around the outside of the blush like that and then apply that onto your cheeks. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It also has like tiny little bits of shimmer in so you can just see the glow it's already given. And then you're supposed to get the middle bit, which is the highlighter bit, and just pop that in the center. That is literally beautiful. I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm just going to put the excess around my forehead only because I just kind of want to bring the look together. I just blend all the colours and I sometimes do this with blush and I like how it looks. Okay, so now we've got a very exciting product coming. It's the Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand Highlighter. So I'm just going to go ahead and start applying it to the high points of my face up here. Now I'm just going to dab it out with my finger just to kind of warm up the product, make it sink into the skin. The glow, just the glow is really there. I feel like now I see how all the Victoria's Secret models just look so luminous. I mean, I'm not claiming to be a Victoria's Secret model, but I mean just with the products. Over on the Cupid's bow, end of the nose. I'm going to put a tiny bit as well in the inner corners. Anyway, like these products are so beautiful, so glowy, and they just tie together so well. I'm gonna twist that off. I like that it twists off just because then I'm not gonna be worried about the product like leaking out. I definitely don't want to be wasting any of the products, so I'm glad that it has that just so you feel secure, so you can probably travel with it and stuff. So I'm literally just gonna comb through my eyebrows just upwards, just because I don't want to put any product in them because I have had them dyed. Their dye is lasting so long this time, and I'm so happy about it. I asked her to put black in on the last time I went to have my lashes and my brows done because I was like, I'm not going to be coming back for a long time. I just want them to be quite dark. So I'm literally going to just feather them as much as possible. I'll come a bit closer. To feather them with the brush. Just because I felt like the models do have like fluffy brows. Okay, 
Okay, so with the eyelids, I'm literally just gonna take my top palette and just put a matte white over the lids. I'm just using a Morphe M433. And I'm just gonna dust that over. Because I'm about to apply some eyeliner. So I want the lids to be all matte for that. I'm gonna try and do the classic Charlotte Tilbury wing. She always does this with these pencil eyeliners and she does it the best and I just don't know if I can pull it off. I'm gonna try. I'm using the Pillow Talk eyeliner. Honestly, this is the most beautiful colour. It's like a dark, some kind of ready brown. This is her newest Pillow Talk product and I adore it. Like it makes blue eyes pop so much when you put it in the waterline. And I don't know, we're gonna try a wing and see how it goes. I've done the little flick. It's literally the smallest little flick. I'm going to take the eyeliner and just kind of go across the top of the lashes. Usually I would not be doing this with eyelash extensions, but they're on their last legs anyway, so it's fine. Then I'm going to take the Morphe E36 and just smoke that line out across the top of the eyelid. Because I want it to be a little bit less harsh, just a bit more blended. I've also seen... Charlotte do on her sorry I've got eyelashes falling out left right and centre Charlotte do over on her YouTube channel is elongate the eye down here slightly just to give you more of that cat eye sort of classic Charlotte Tilbury look so I'm going to try that today you kind of just drag it down slightly into the inner corner which kind of just gives you more of a cat eye look and I'm loving it this eyeliner is so good this is how the eyeliner looks I've literally just done the tiniest little wing and then it's kind of elongated the eye a little bit and I am obsessed with it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eyeliner off camera just because it's quite a long process for me because I'm not the best eyeliner but I'm gonna just quickly go ahead and do that and then I'll come back to you we're back we've managed two tiny wings I am so proud of myself I've never done a little wing with eyeliner before and I'm sure I'll get better at it as I practice but I'm now going to take the same eyeliner and do it in the waterline which Honestly, it's like the best bit of the look, like it just makes the eyes pop. Same little Morphe E36 and just kind of smoke it out a little, little bit. And I just kind of blend it in with the top little liner. Okay, so I'm happy with how that looks in the eyes. I'm just going to go ahead and apply some mascara. This is literally just the mascara from Primark called False Lash Queen. And I don't mind it, it's not my favourite mascara in the world, but it's okay. I think that's made my eyes look so much bluer though, the eyeliner, so I do like it. I have the worst mascara face ever. The eyes are done, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more blush on, just because I feel like I want to add a little bit more colour. Just because now I feel like the eyes are quite intense, I want the face to kind of match it all up a little bit. Again, I'm just putting it a little bit around my forehead, across the nose. Okay, so what I think can sometimes make a look look a bit more natural is just adding a few freckles back in. I do have freckles naturally, like quite a lot of freckles, but obviously I've covered them up quite a lot with the foundation. So I'm going to just go ahead and add a couple more back in with the Anastasia Dip Brow. I always use this for like faux freckles and I love it. So I just take a brush from Morphe, this is the Morphe M432 brush and it's just like a very flat edge and I just literally create dots everywhere. They look really harsh right now. And then I just blend them in with my finger. I kind of go to town just adding them all in. I don't know if you can see that but they're just kind of very subtle freckles which I love. I'm just going to go ahead and add a tiny bit more of the light one just because I want to make it a little bit more glowy. I like to just add a little bit more in at the end just to kind of brighten everything up and then just again tap that back in. A bit in the inner corners which I feel like just brings everything together. I love the applicator of this because I feel like you can get in all those little hard to reach places and the nose, the cupid's bow so accurately and it's just so easy to use and another thing that I love about this liquid highlighter is that it doesn't look too harsh. I kind of avoid liquid highlighters if I'm honest because I feel like they kind of look a bit harsh but this one is just the most natural glow and I love it. For the lips I'm using the Pillow Talk combination so I'm going to be using the Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk along with the lipstick in Pillow Talk as well. So with the Lip Cheat I am going to overline my lips a tiny little bit, I'll come closer. 
So I do just kind of overline the top lip a tiny bit but follow the lines around. And then the same on the bottom. I kind of just, not so much overlining but just sort of going around the edges. And then I just go in with the lipstick. And the lipstick is in the most gorgeous packaging ever. Like, look at that for a lipstick. You just imagine pulling this out your handbag, like, it's just beautiful. And I'm just going to apply this in the centre of the lips. See, this lipstick, this combination, if, even though I've only a tiny bit overlined my lips, it makes your lips look so big, so natural, just like a really good plump. It's the finished look. It's just glowy. It's just got everything I love in it. And honestly, honestly I couldn't recommend all the products enough. Like I, my favourite ones were the liquid highlighter and the blusher. Just because I feel like the skin just looks better than my skin ever looks. So I'm so happy with that. So the magic cream I just think is absolutely beautiful. I think it's such a good base. And I feel like it has given my skin sort of the really nice fresh Charlotte Tilbury base to go off. Which I have loved. I feel like my foundation got, has gone on so much better. Haven't even used any primer and it feels so smooth. The eye cream, like I said, I absolutely love how it feels. I think it really does work, like smoothing the lines out. But the only thing is, I don't know whether under makeup it kind of makes it go a little bit cakey. But I think it may be because, like I said, I did apply it just before. So I'm going to leave a little review in the description box once I've fully tried these out. And I'll let you know what I think of those. So I just blusher, I just think it is amazing. I think it's the most beautiful packaging. It gives you the most beautiful glow because it's like... It's like a blush but it has little shimmers in it and it just looks so nice. I couldn't recommend that enough. And also the liquid highlighter in Pillow Talk is a dream. The eyeliner, I just think, I need to practice with the eyeliner so that maybe why it's not looking perfect. But for my first attempt, it's really easy to use. Like, I literally just draw, drew a tiny little line and it seems to have gone quite well. I mean, it's gone well for me for eyeliner so I'm so happy with it. And finally, the lipstick and the lip liner are just this is going to be my go-to lip combination from now on. You can see why it's just classic Charlotte Tilbury. I just think it gives your lips that kind of fake a fuller pow. It just gives you the nicest colour. And yeah, the lips and the skin, I can't even say a favourite. Like, I think the skin is what's sort of standing out a lot. But then I love the lip liner and the eyeliner as well. So I really, really hope everyone enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed watching me test out the products. Like I said, this has been a success. If you want me to test out any other brands, definitely let me know in the comments below. Also, if you are new here, I would love if you would stick around, join the little family by subscribing. I post videos on Thursdays and on Sundays, so two times a week on this channel. And I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers, which just blows me away. Like, she makes me so, so happy. So if you want to stick around on the journey, then definitely get involved. I also hope you and your families are doing okay during this time. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!